would like you to believe that rappers are the only people getting killed in these streets in Los Angeles. You reference PNB, rest in peace, terrible situation. Hate that that happened, you know what I'm saying? Pop smoke, terrible, so rest in peace. Hate that these happened. But do you guys understand in Los Angeles, they've been robbing every fucking body? Do you understand that the police said, don't come out here? It's like the purge. Do you know how fucked up your city gotta be when the police chief say, nigga, don't visit here? That's what the police chief says. So once again, it's not the culture, it's the community. And until that changes, the words will never change. That the, the thought process can never change because that's still what's going on. Unless we change the minds of what's going on with the people, and that's what I believe. I believe with hip hop, you gotta look at hip hop, that even though a lot of these rappers were dealt impossible hands, Jay-Z, what was the famous words that he said? Like I told you, sell drugs. No, Hove did that. So hopefully you don't have to go through that. That was coming from a man who in his 20s was selling drugs and shot his brother in the fucking arm. He's now one of the wealthiest men on the planet. How did that happen? Hip hop culture, Juan T. When you look at somebody like Rick Ross, I get it, he was a correctional officer. He was doing all these other things in his past life, drug dealer, whatever he may have come from. Man owns several different franchises. Dr. Dre, the man who made the song Fuck the Police to talk about marginalized, how police were doing brutality in the hood. He made Fuck the Police. We seen him on the Super Bowl this year. How did he get there, Ron Taylor? Hip hop culture. It can take you to the highest of heights. They're talking about the things that they went through and then you see that their, their subject matter starts to change. Look at Jay-Z, when you see him on Reasonable Doubt, what was he talking about? You know, they repo your Vega code a couple of weeks ago. Shit was all good. About to start snitching, ain't you? About to start bitching, ain't you? What was he talking about on 444? He was talking about being a married man and dealing with trauma from his life. So we can grow and evolve if you give us a fucking chance, Mr. Taylor. That's all I'm saying today. I'm not, I'm not going against the fact that there is a bunch of bullshit music out there that promotes a bunch of bullshit and destruction in the black community. I'm just saying before we put the carriage in front of the horse, let's fix the fucking community, amen? That's all I wanna say. And the real problem is the community and rap culture can't change until that in itself changes. I rest my case. Thank you, Mr. Doughboy. <laughs> Rap culture made Jay-Z cheat on Beyonce. I'm just putting that out there. You cheat on the queen, nigga? That's what y'all like? <laughs>